Salam, the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge under Commanding General Ehana will be on the street 91.9 FM every Monday from 5 p.m. bringing you the truth according to the Bible. The ICBK is a non-profit faith-based community organization that will respond to the plagues that's affecting blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. We also have programs such as education, both adult and youth, prison programs, food distribution, rehabilitation, drug and alcohol. Remember, tune in every Monday for 9199 FM. All right, Trinidad and Tobago, we are back. ISUPK is in the building. Good afternoon, guys. How are you? Shalom, I'm Shalom, and you call us. Everything so well. All right, I'm happy to say a card here with me. This is a strong brother who is a CG Hebrew. All right, every um, Saturday, he's a CG Sabbath service and the Hebrew. All right, if, if all I want to know how we used to speak back in the days. All right, we used to speak like cave people. Ah, ba, ga, da, ha. That's how we used to speak back in the days. And this brother here named Yakar, he just teach that every um, Saturdays. All right? So, um, you have anything to say? It will No, it will for now, sir. All right, no, sir. All right, so today we're going to go into the um, topic straight Valentine's Day. All right, everybody is happy and jolly. You know, um, everybody wants to give somebody a rose, um, chocolate, a heart shape, um, so wherever it is a heart shape a chocolate or wherever it is everybody want to give some their loved ones something so they could feel nice right well today we're going to tell all of the truth about valentine's day right and about the whole this whole um air that floating around that um women should deserve to be treated nice on valentine's day you understand to tell you honest truth you women don't deserve nothing on valentine's day you understand? Or I don't deserve no chocolate or no roses on Valentine's Day. You understand? As a matter of fact, a woman needs to be told how evil and wicked she is on Valentine's Day. You understand? Like, for the whole um, history, everybody just be bad talking to men, how the men is this, the men is that. And nobody just be bad talking to women. It's only the men, people just be bad talking. Well, on Valentine's Day, the women need to be told by their loved ones how evil and cruel they are. You understand? I mean, just look at how women treat their man. Just look about it. Right? And specifically, I'm speaking about blacks and Hispanic women. Right? Because the Bible was only written for black and Hispanic women. Just, but just look at how black women treat, treat their men today. You know, and just look at how black women raise up their children. You understand? Um, they they want to talk about um, I as a single parent. Or um, I, I is the mother and father. Women like to say that. I am the mother and the father. You understand? Well, okay, if you're a single parent and you know you is the mother and father, well, then take responsibility. You understand? Some of your women go so far by saying, I is an independent woman. I don't need a man. Well, okay, take responsibility for your sons and your daughters. Take responsibility for your sons and daughters growing up to um, be drug dealers, growing up to be murderers. You understand? Take responsibility for your daughters growing up to to sell she body all over the place you understand take responsibility for your daughters not knowing how to treat their husbands right and take responsibilities for raising up your sons not um not knowing how to treat their wives you understand and you know why um you pair women are mostly single if really think about it is because they kick the man out of the house that is why all our women are single because you kick the man out of the house. You understand? So the man out of the house now, who is there to correct the child when the child does a mistake? You understand? A woman will leave she man because the man have an ex-woman. <laughs> you understand? It, it, it's like a, a woman will be in a relationship for 40 years with a man and still leave him just because the man ha get an ex-woman. The man will treat the woman like, like the best. Get she the, the best. You understand? Make she feel like she's a, a, a princess. And just because you have an next woman, she would leave him. You understand? Right. And if a woman leaves a man because the man have an next woman, she's evil and wicked and she only cares about herself. If that is happen, um, happening. You understand? Because some, some women does, um, apart from some women kicking the man out of the house. Some women does make their man actually leave them 
because she's just a nagging wife. You understand? Like a man rather go on the streets and um and live and take drugs than to be in the house with a nagging woman. You understand? When a man leaves his house, everything is designed to oppress him. You understand? The government oppressing him, his job oppressing him. You understand? Everything just oppressing the black man when he leaves his house. So when he comes home now, that should be his um his place of comfort. You understand? When he man reach back home, his wife supposed to make him feel some sort of comfort. Right. But instead, when the man come home now, hey, you, you, you don't wash your clothes, what you, you don't wash your wears, you don't clean up the yard, what, and she nagging. So no man don't want to go through all that as soon as he comes home from a hard days at work and just being stressed out by everything. He go in the grocery. Well, every week something going up in the grocery now. So that that more stress on a man. You understand? So he, when he's supposed to buy a milk and pampers, he can't afford it because his salary is small, but everything in the grocery high. You understand? So he going through all that kind of oppression and to come home and the woman just nagging. You understand? A man not supposed to feel that way. His home is supposed to be a home of comfort. When a man going through that, he rather go on the streets and sniff crack cocaine than to be in the house with his nagging wife. You understand? So some woman does kick the man out of the house and some woman does nag the man to a point that he would end up leaving the house. You understand? A man supposed to be treated like a king in his house when he come home. You know, a woman had to massage him. Give him a little massage on the, on the back. You know, um, rub his toes for him. You know, I'm, I'm kiss him on his toes. When he come home, he's supposed to see a nice cooked food. You understand? Not, um, you're nagging as soon as he reach. You know, the, the man come home because he's hungry. You understand? Because he can't afford to buy food every day. Because again, his salary is small. But everything in the world, she high. You understand? So when you come home, you're supposed to feel some sort of comfort. But you nag any man. The man will leave. He will end up leaving the house. He didn't want to go through all that. Because anywhere he go, he is just being oppressed. Right. You understand? And um, give me the Amos 5 and 20. Mm -hmm. The book of Amos chapter 5 and verse 21. I hate, I despise your feast days. You understand? The Lord say he hates and he despises our feast days. You understand? Our feast days is all these, all the holidays that um, we just celebrate like Christmas, Halloween, New Year's, Valentine's Day. The Lord hates it. You understand? Good. And I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Yeah, he can go, he can go smell wherever we cooking, wherever we eating on those days. You understand? Right now, somebody might be cooking some, you know, some man might be home making up some nice cooked food, to, you know, to please his wife when she come home, to make she feel some sort of comfort. The Lord said, nah, he ain't gonna smell at that. He, he ain't gonna smell at it. It, it ain't smelling nice to the Lord because the Lord hates it. You understand? Valentine's Day is not in the Bible. So why are you celebrating it for? You understand? A woman not supposed to be given no flowers or roses on Valentine's Day, but instead you need to tell her how evil and cruel she is and she needs to take responsibility for raising up her sons and daughters to be um wicked and evil just as her you understand you want to kick him out of your house for because you have a next woman that give you the right to kick him out nah you you just selfish you cares about nobody but yourself you understand be friends with the next man i'm wife or look at me i'm i'm let's call him sister wise you understand be friends with him his, his other wife, if you don't want to be friends with him, fine, you know, keep a distance from her. But don't leave the man or, or kick the man out of the house. And then on top of that now, when you kick the man out of the house, you're telling the man, don't come and see your children. <laughs> you understand? So that is just oppression on top of oppression. So when the man now come in, you know, he might, might be sneaking in school just to see his little son, you know, or his little daughter, just to, you know, just to see them. You know, the wife will say, hey, I will take out a restraining and order, order on you. You're not supposed to visit your son and your daughter. So it's just oppression after oppression. Now, a woman needs to be told how evil and wicked she is on Valentine's Day. She's not supposed to be given no chocolate or roses. You understand? Give me the one in Timothy, first Timothy. Okay. Mm -hmm. The 
book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 11. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. Mm -hmm. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. You understand? And this is such such a, a wise statement. You understand? Because the way how some women is, if they don't learn in silence, this is what is going to happen. You understand? Our children right now, it have children to not respect their fathers because of their mothers. You understand? It have children don't respect their fathers. You know, you as a father discipline in your child. You understand? You tell your child, go, I'm going to the corner and take a time out. Or, or go in the room, you're on punishment. Or, or you know, you might get the child maybe a, a two lash in the hand or something to discipline him. You as your mother go step in. No, the, the child's so small. Don't, don't, don't hit him now. Nah. No, no. Don't worry, go pay me in the corner and there for so long. No. So now the child seeing that now because the mother stepped in from, from the, the father disciplining the child. The child won't respect the father anymore. Right? And the child will end up going astray. You understand? This is why a woman needs to learn in um read it over again, Tora. Can I can the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 11. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. Mm -hmm. Learn in silence with all subjection. You understand? That, that is not a harsh statement. That is a true statement. Because when the woman stepping in now and she opening her mouth in front of the children, because the father I'm um, disciplining them now, the children will not respect their fathers. So give me 34, Exodus 34 and 14. Can I can. Right. So on Valentine's Day, nah. I, uh, t tell her otherwise, no. I'm not getting no chocolate or no rose on this day. But instead, I'm going to tell her how evil and cruel you are as a woman. Right. The book of Exodus chapter 34 and verse 14. For thou shalt worship no other God. For the God, for the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. You understand? The Lord, He's a jealous God. So we're not supposed to be worshiping no other God. You understand? Because this this is the God of February that we're worshiping after. Right? Um Lupercilia. This on February the 14th. And the Lord just like how I just get jealous, the Lord does get jealous. You understand? Just like how you black man and black woman does get jealous, your father, who is the Lord, he does get jealous. You know, so when you get jealous, just like how we just be enraged from being jealous, the Lord does get enraged from being jealous. And this is why black people are, will always be at the bottom. And it have the black people who are, who are on the top won't give a damn about the black people at the bottom. You know, so yes. Because the Lord, he is causing that. Because we be sinning against him and we worshiping other gods rather than to worship him. Go ahead, America. Yeah, so like I say, if I may. You know, it's so funny that um, a lot of people will say, okay, you know, well, it's just Valentine's Day. You know, you're just showing where, you know, you're just, you're just love. We're just loving each other. It's just another day. But a lot of people don't understand the origins of these days. You understand? And a lot of things, if they don't understand the origin of it, because if you look at, you know, Cupid, and you look at um, that whole symbolism of a heart, Cupid is the worship of another god, right? Mm -hmm. And the, that god was named Ares or Eros. And which is the god of sex. So mm -hmm. when you look at it, you're really worshiping the god of sex. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that, that is itself. You, you're right. right. Give me one I'm German. Three, I'm one. Right, but you're so right, I'm, I'm your car. But we're going to go into that a little later. All right, go ahead. Right. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 3 and verse 1. They say, if a man put away his wife and shall go from him, Right, so if a man put away his wife and she go from him, so a man he end up leaving his wife. Go ahead. And become another man's. Right, so a man leave his wife and she go on to another man. Go ahead. Shall he return unto her again? Shall the man who put her away now, even though she has an next man, shall he come back to her unto her again? Go ahead. Shall not that land be greatly polluted? Shall not that land be greatly polluted? Right, a woman who does had five and six and, and ten different men, the Lord calls that pollution. You understand? That's what the Lord calls pollution. Right? A harlot in the Bible. Go ahead. But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers. Right? But thou hast played the harlot with many lo lovers. That is in Jeremiah one. Okay. Right? But so now we black people have polluted the place. 
right? Because we play the harlot with many lovers. So the Lord is telling black people that we are harlots because instead we stay with him. Instead of we stay with the, the most high, we jump into Islam. We jump into Christianity. We jump into um, Egyptology. We jump into Hinduism. And we just jump in from religion to religion to religion. The Lord says it's supposed to be with me, black man and black woman. Not no other um, religions out here on the face of it. But because we was destroyed from slavery, we do not know who our God is. So when the Arabs bring Islam, we jump to Islam. When the Chinese bring Buddha, we jump to Buddha. When the East Indians bring um, Shiva and Madalachmi, we jump to Hinduism. Black people just jump in from religion to religion. We play the harlot with many lovers. And that's why the Lord is punishing us right now. Because instead of we come back to him, we just jumping around from religion to religion. And that's why we will always be at the bottom. And the other races will always be on the top. Because the other races know who their God is. Except us. We don't know who our God is. But they know who their God is. Right. You understand? So now, um, if like, if I as a man, you know, I'm, was sleeping around with plenty different women, as I said before, I could be enraged. You understand? And the Lord, he does feel enraged the same way when we jump around with these other religions and these other gods. You understand? So again, when you all reach home, tell the wife you're not celebrating Valentine's Day. Right? Because Valentine's Day is not in the Bible. It is a satanic holiday. And gods hate it. You understand? The most high he hates it. Right? So we're going to go a little bit deeper now into Valentine's Day. Right, the whole custom of um, giving somebody a heart on Valentine's Day comes from two homosexuals named Titus Polio and Lucius Veronus. I believe I pronounced it correct. Yeah, Lucius right. Veronus. Now, there was a time when the Romans would make their soldiers have sex with each other because they believed that it would make them fight better. Why? Because if I'm, if I'm now fighting for my lover, I will fight better to protect my lover. So at that time, they used to let the, the Roman soldiers have sex with each, each other. So Titus and Lucius was two homosexuals that loved each other and was fighting in the Roman army. Um, Titus ended up getting an arrow shot in him. And Titus actually saw someone trying to kill Lucius. But even though Titus was shot with an arrow, that did not stop him from going over there to protect his lover. You understand? So Titus, now he ended up defending Lucius, and after he defended Lucius, he cut out the heart out of his enemy and gave it to his lover, Lucius Fronus. And the Romans, they loved that story, and they made, they made every Roman soldier in the military to cut out the heart of the enemy and give it to the lover. Right? And from that story now, Everybody wants to give um, the lover a heart from that story. Everybody wants to give the lover a heart. Right? Now we're going to go into the symbol now. Right? The, the, that symbol of um, the heart shape. Right? We all know the, the symbol of the heart shape. It's all over the place. You yeah? understand? You just go on the highway, you go Charlotte Street, you go all over. Everybody's selling the heart shape of the Valentines. That symbol of a heart shape is not really a heart. A heart does not look like that. Right? That symbol of a heart comes around the 1800s. Right? A lot of men was in Navy ships. And sometimes they would kidnap you and force you to be a soldier on the Navy ship. Right? Now, back in those days, it had, um, it had prostitutes. Right? But they would not put their name um, on, on the shop, on the door, because it was illegal, right? But um, the, the prostitute would rather have um, a symbol, a symbol on her door to let people know, hey, when you come in here, this is what you're going and get into. They would have a symbol, not a name, right? So now, will you all guess it correct? That symbol is that shape of a, well, the symbol of a heart. Right, but again, it is not the symbol of a heart. What that symbol really is, it is a woman bending over from behind. That way, it is a woman. She she twists her legs closed and she bending over from behind. That is where that heart shape of a symbol comes from. Right, it is not really a heart, 
it's just it's just about sex lust you understand that way um it is about right now um also too at that time in the navy right um the the soldiers they was young like 16 17 years old right and um those men at that time who was young they would have sex for the first time in those prostitution house right and for the for a young man to remember the first time that he had sex he would put a tattoo of that symbol on his arm right and that tattoo was to show people that hey i is a man now i is not a little boy anymore i is a man now i had sex i is a man right he would put it on on his hand after a while that symbol became a symbol um, of love because of making love and then after a while it just became a symbol of love right and um, as officer your card mentioned about the cupid right the, it have the the arrow through the heart the arrow through the heart is about cupid cupid is the god of of sex or lust right so in other words the 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 heart shaped symbol with the arrow through it really means hey i want to have sex tonight if i see someone with that tattoo with a heart shape on it and an arrow through it just means hey i want to have sex tonight all right that's what it's about and that is why most people marriages does fall apart because it is conflicting with real love like people do not know what love is anymore people feel um i have been buying flowers buying chocolate for, for um for your wife means that is love but that is not love people don't know what is love anymore and that's why marriages just fall apart right if people really know what love is they, they will know that um the marriage will fall apart right but true love is willing to be unhappy with your partner that is true love you understand a, a lot of people don't know that but that what true love is willing to be unhappy with your partner if love was just about being happy that would be nice you know what I'm saying? because everything will run smooth you know what I'm saying? but true love is really willing to be unhappy with your partner that what true love is it, it's like a child you know you have a child you know you are custom party and going carnival fets every day every day you're partying and fetting now that you have a child now you can't afford to go and party and fet every day right you have to stay home to take care of your child that will frustrate you you're unhappy because you're custom partying and fetting now that you have a child now you willing to be miserable because you love your child you willing to be unhappy and not go parties and fets because you love your child you will sacrifice drinking alcohol because you love drinking alcohol you will sacrifice um smoking cigarettes because they love to smoke cigarettes but you know if you smoke cigarettes around your child you might end up getting sick and dying so you go sacrifice yourself you go be unhappy because you love your child and that is what true love is true love is really about being unhappy for your partner not valentine's day valentine's day will mash up marriages and you um, black man and black woman you you black man need to tell the black woman why it is she so evil and cruel on valentine's you don't get for no chocolate and roses right so again if you want to contact us contact us on 290 right if any pastor anybody want to do any debates contact us on 290 right look up look us up on youtube facebook it's isupk trinidad right we are, we are on tiktok isupk trinidad on tiktok right instagram right think what i'm saying yeah, I just want to say, you know, what you're saying is on point. Um, and these are the things that a lot of our people don't know. And because they don't know it, it would seem very foreign. You understand? And these are the histories that, because we don't know it, our children can't get to understand and we follow blindly. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. 25 seconds. Uh, any? Nobody? Nothing yet. All right. All right, guys. So thank you so much. See you again next week. People, we're going to go for a break. We will be right back.